Good morning, Crossers kids. We are so glad that you can join us today. We hope that you had a great week and are looking forward to learning more about the kingdom come. I hope that you had a chance to complete your activity pages and that you were able to spend some time thinking about what we learned about last week. I know that I felt so excited about it this week, learning about the treasure we had stored up in heaven. There are a lot of great things about being on earth, but none of them compare to God's kingdom. I wonder if you can guess what we're going to learn about today. I love playing games. Let's start by playing a game together today. Our daughters are here to help out. Okay, in this game, I'm going to describe a situation and then without saying anything, I want you to show how the situation would make you feel. Should we try one? Okay, your dog runs away and is lost. How does that make you feel? You look pretty sad. Let's see if that changes in this scenario. Your neighbor comes to your door holding your pet. I can see that makes you feel really happy. Good job, girls. All right, let's try another one. Here is the situation. Your sister gets a toy that you really wanted. I can see that you would feel upset. How about this one? Your sister chooses to share the new toy with you. You look really happy about that. <laughs> okay, let's try one more. How would you feel if your best friend was moving to a new house? Yeah, it would make me feel sad if my friend was moving too. Let's see if it changes if you know that your best friend's new house is right next door to you. I can see that you'd be wonderfully surprised and it would make you feel super happy. <laughs> that was a fun game. Most of us feel sad when we lose something special and we feel happy when it is found. Some of us might feel excited if our sister got a new toy, while some of us might feel jealous or angry. How we act when we feel these emotions is very important. In our Bible story today, we will hear from people who felt many different emotions. But before we find out what happened, let's pause and worship God together by singing. This is my faith, this is my focus All of my days, I know where my hope is I live it loud, I shout the chorus Because I know, oh you're always for us And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you and will believe, believe And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you Let's go. 
Hey friends, I'm glad you can make it back with us this week. You know, if you look around my shop, you might get the feeling that I have no real system of organization. You'd be right. I always mean to get around to putting things in order and taking a thorough inventory, but I just never quite get around to it. Sure, there's a little bit of method to my madness, but it's nowhere near what I wish it would be. So it's unsurprising that I tend to misplace things a lot. Take yesterday, for example. I called into the store to see if Keanu happened to have anything collectible from the Star Trek Mega Bloks line for my brother. He's a huge fan and his birthday's coming up. Keanu told me he had a couple of different sets, but he couldn't remember where they were in the shop. I had to practically turn my shop upside down, searching through all the clutter to find these sets. I know how frustrating it can be to misplace something but also know how good it feels to find a missing item. I really appreciated Keanu going to all the trouble of searching for the set for me. Well, it turned out I didn't have any Star Trek Mega Block sets. Instead, I had Star Wars Lego sets. I felt really silly, but thankfully, Janessa really appreciated my effort. The whole experience had me thinking about the Bible story. I think this is a great time to share with you a story from Luke chapter 15 about things that were lost. Jesus told three different parables about people finding lost things. Let's watch a video to see what he taught.
tax collectors and sinners came to listen to Jesus teach. The religious leaders complained because Jesus welcomed sinners. So Jesus told them three parables to teach them about God. Jesus said, if a man has 100 sheep and loses one, what does he do? He leaves the 99 sheep and searches for the lost sheep until he finds it. Then he tells his friends and neighbors, let's celebrate, I found my lost sheep. In heaven, there is more joy when one sinner repents and turns back to God than for 99 people who did not wander off. Jesus also said, if a woman has 10 silver coins and loses one of them, what does she do? She lights a lamp, sweeps the house and searches carefully until she finds it. Then she tells her friends and neighbors, let's celebrate, I found my lost coin. Then Jesus repeated, in heaven, there is joy when one sitter repents and turns back to God. Jesus told a third story. A man had two sons. The younger son said, father, give me my inheritance today. So the father gave his son his share. The younger son left home. He wasted his money and lived foolishly. There was a famine and the people in that country did not have enough food. The son got a job feeding pigs. He was so hungry, even the pigs' food looked tasty. The younger son made a plan. He would go back to his father and admit he was wrong. He would ask to work for his father like the servants. So the younger son headed home. He was still a long way away when his father saw him coming. His father ran to him, threw his arms around him and kissed him. The son began to apologize. I have sinned against God and against you, he said. But the father told his servants, let's celebrate with a feast. Bring the best robe and put it on my son. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. This son of mine was lost and now he is found. At this time, the older son came from the fields and heard music at the house. What's going on? He asked one of the servants. Your brother is here, the servant said. Your father is celebrating. The older brother was angry. He refused to go to the feast. The father asked him to come inside. The older brother said, I never disobeyed you, but you never threw a party for me. Son, the father said, everything I have is yours. We have to celebrate. Your brother was lost, but now he is found. Jesus told stories about people who were looking for things that were lost. Jesus told these stories to teach about himself. Jesus looks for people who are lost, people who do not know him. Jesus gave his life to save people from sin. Jesus came to seek and save the lost. The lost are any people who do not have a personal relationship with Jesus. It is important for us to know that God loves the lost because it helps us understand God's incredible love. Because God is perfect and holy, He would be just to leave us alone in sin. Instead, He sent Jesus to save us. How did you feel about the older brother in Jesus' parable about the lost son? When I was young, I sometimes read the story and thought the older brother was right. It seemed unfair to me that the younger brother would get a great party after making mistakes he had made. It can be tempting to believe that if we behave in the right ways, we deserve better treatment or more love from God. That's what the religious leaders in Jesus' day thought. Thankfully, God's love for us does not depend on how we behave. That's a good thing because it means that God also doesn't love us less when we misbehave and make sinful choices. 
Jesus told these parables to teach about God's forgiveness. God sent Jesus so sinners can be forgiven. As soon as we have faith in Jesus, we are rescued from darkness. We immediately become citizens of God's perfect kingdom. In God's kingdom, Jesus is our perfect king. He loves us and helps us to glorify God with our lives. When we tell others about Jesus and God's kingdom, we are part of Jesus' mission to save the lost. Let's pray together and thank God for sending us Jesus to save us. Father, thank you for sending your Son to rescue us. We know that we cannot find Jesus on our own by our good works. Instead, Jesus seeks us out to draw us near. Help us be part of your mission in the world. Amen. Amen. Well, make sure to complete the activities for this week's lesson. If you don't have a booklet, you can head over to crossroadskids.ca and ask an adult to help you print out the pages for this week. If you want to share what you're learning with us, you can take a photo of what you are doing and send it to us at kids at crossroadschurch.ca or take us on Instagram at crossroadskids. We would love to hear from you. Have an excellent week and we'll see you next time.